Hello, fellow diamond painting addicts, and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne, and I'm here today to share with you an unboxing of a cute kit from Craftably. Try saying that three times fast. So this is one of the kits that I purchased from them back when they had their um, Please Help Us Stay in Business sale. Things, I think, are going well for them, so I'm happy with that. I actually like Craftably quite a bit. They are a company located in the US and I think down in Texas and just really nice people. And so I bought several kits and this was one of them. This is called the Puppy Purse and it is by Joe Perry. And this will be one, I was actually gonna save this one for DP for Pets, but I don't know if I'll get to it before June, but I'm at least gonna unbox it and get it kitted up so that if I want to do it, for DP for pets, I can. Let me get the plastic and everything off of it and out of the box and I will be right back. All right, so let's see what they have in their cute little toolkit here. Some washi tape, what else do we have in here? More washi tape, lots of goodies. Okay, Ooh, it's a toolkit within a toolkit. What's in here? And typically, I don't know if they're one of the ones that lets you uh, say that you don't want a toolkit because you know for me some of this is just like wasted plastic all right so you get a tray let me put that back in here you get two plates of purple wax you get some very pokey purple tweezers those are pretty I like those and then we get our diamond painting pen it's got to a four placer on it and then there's an extra four placer and a seven placer along with your little purple scrunchie i love how everything is purple themed now there's two cover minders in here look at those cute little roses so i can keep one and i can gift one so that makes me happy and then we get two little uh, rolls of washi tape little cupcakes and this little stripey one i may actually use this little chevron one for the kit to put washi tape on the edges of the kit. We'll see. Let me get these in here so I can get that closed. Let me move those out of the way. And then we can dig into the kit. They have very soft lint canvases, which I like. Okay, I don't remember them having tape on it before. That's new. Where's the end of it? Here it is. Let me peel the tape off. And this is a smaller kit, but that's one of the reasons that I thought maybe I would have time to get it done. You know, last year I did a couple of partials during DP for Pets, so I was able to get some more kits done. I just think that's more fun, right? I mean, I like doing the bigger kits, but okay. So here we have our little instructions. I don't need those. We've got our drills. It is a round kit, as you can see. They come in baggies. But we do get little stickers here. So we've got 41 colors, and these are pre-cut. I will say, though, for me, what I usually end up doing is cutting off the numbers here because the stickers are so big, they don't fit on a lot of my storage. I suppose if I was using my Elizabeth Ward, which with at 41 colors, I might. Whew, that's a lot of colors for this small of a kit. It's only 12 by 16. All right, so there it is. There's the colors. Let's look at the kit here. It's so cute. As expected, it is this cute little puppy with a purse and it's got a little bow, cute little collar, and then all this blue background. So it's craftably, it's a nice thick cover sheet. I like that. It's nice and sticky where it needs to be. Okay, and this just says 12 by 16. So let's see what that is, actual drill field size, and what that would be in centimeters. So it is 12 across, so that's 30 and a half centimeters. And how big is it this way? Is it actually 16? It is actually just a skosh over 16, which is almost 41 centimeters. 
So 12 by 16 inches, which is nice that they do it that way. It is sometimes a pain. I'm curious to see how that's gonna be for me once we move to Canada. Searching for frames in centimeters is not something Amazon likes. And when you do conversions, like I was recently trying to find some frames for my Paint Gem Minis, doing conversions from centimeters to inches is just never exact and so stuff isn't just quite right. So in a country where they do metric, maybe that'll make a difference. I don't know, we'll see. All right, so I've got 41 colors and I've got the DMC codes and it looks like one, two, three, four, five, five ABs and then two crystals it looks like. So now that we've looked at the colors, because this is going to be quite a bit of confetti, even though it's small, let's look at our drills. All right, I've got some loose drills floating around, so let's see if I've got some open bags or something. So we've got a very light tan, an orange, a kind of turquoise color. We've got a very dark red. We've got kind of a peachy color. We've got, whoops, there's one that's falling out. We've got kind of a mulberry color. Looks like, looks like this one is the culprit here of loose ones. That's my 310, which I guess if one's gonna be open, that's the best one, because I know I have extras of those. So then we've got a light gray and a dark gray, and then a very pale gray. We've got, let me save some of these fancy ones till the end. All right, we've got a very pale peach. We've got kind of a mocha color. We've got a very dark gray. We've got, oh, look at that bubblegum pink. That's pretty. I really like that. So that'll be in the purse. We've got kind of an orangish brown, an orange a very pale flesh color. We've got a light blue, a very dark brown, a kind of baby pink, and then a true pink. We've got a very kind of dark green turquoise, and then we have a kind of dove gray. We've got some escapees here. We've got kind of a caramel color. Ooh, we've got lots of caramel colors. Look at this, so there's a dark, and then we've got three different shades here. Do we? Yeah, 781, 782, 783. So three different shades of kind of that caramel color that are gonna be in the puppy, I'm sure. We've got kind of a watermelon color. We've got a deep red, like a, yeah, deep red and then we've got a brick red, and then we've got like a bubblegum pink. I'm loving these colors so far. Then I've got two shades of very turquoise again, so this one's a bit lighter than this one. And then we've got a very kind of pale butterscotch, and then we have all of our lovely ABs. So we've got our white ABs, we've got Kind of that same watermelon color pink AB. We've got a very pretty baby pink AB. We've got another kind of true pink AB. Then we've got our Christmas red AB. And then we have our two rhinestones, which are this very pale turquoise and then kind of a pinky purple. So there's all the drills. You guys, this is one floored by 41 different colors in this small of a kit. That's kind of crazy. So the confetti will be interesting. Now I'm wondering if this would be a good one for me to test out my tower method again because it's so confetti heavy. But also it's kind of small, so it wouldn't take me very long. We'll see what happens. Like I said, I'm, I'm planning on doing this one for DP for Pets. We'll see how quickly I can get to it. Uh, I have the other one that I've already opened, my dragon, that I want to do first. If I can get through that one, then I can work on this one. I've also got a couple of other projects I want to do in June. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see how long it takes me to get some of these done. 
As always, guys, I will stick a link in the description box down below so that you can check these out. Craftably, I think, has been restocking some things, so they might have some new stuff out there for you to look at. Go check them out. I really like their drills. I think they're a really good company. Highly recommend. Thanks for sticking around till the end of the video, guys. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And, as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.